as it was about a lot of lessons as far as um, bringing my body and my thoughts into balance with my spirit and my soul and um, the direction that I really want my past to take and the focus that I want to exert and what I actually want to be creating. And I think I'm always mulling over that this time of year, but especially yesterday I really felt like that. And it happened in um, a, a very in-your-face way for me that I realized that I need to really draw draw some uh, fa a focus and attention on these different oops, aspects of my life. Flew just bonked her head on the table. Um, and then today there was the re-entering into action with my work through working with um, clients. And that just really helped me to realign and balance into, okay, what is really important? What's worth my attention and my focus? And... Um, what is the beauty of life and um, and so being with Vincent today and working with my clients really has helped me to realign and um, not lose sight of what's important and what I am most appreciative and thankful for in my life. So I just wanted to share about using the spirit of the wheel as the meditation deck that it is because it's very, very powerful. Just the act of laying the cards out is really uh, really strong energetically. And if you have no familiarity with the, the medicine wheel, she has actually a pull-out chart that outlines it for you. And each of the cards is a stone on the medicine wheel. And so you can choose to lay it out as a medicine wheel or as a spiral. Or you can do what I did, which is actually draw the cards that match up to where you feel you are on the medicine wheel um, by the Sabbaths or by energetically where you feel you are. Um, one of my Native American teachers in the past always told me to, at some point, preferably in the morning, but to begin your day by asking, where am I today on the medicine wheel and then exploring that. So I'm really yearning to use this deck as a tool for that by drawing a card to help me find that. But you can certainly do that um, as a way of exploring the medicine wheel as well. And I just think as a deck for, for helping you mark where you are throughout the year, if you work with cards the way that I do and the way that a lot of people who watch my channel do, or if you are interested in working with cards in that way, um, decks like these are really, really valuable tools to help us remember where we are on our physical journey and honoring where we are and honoring the times that are beautiful and the times that are messy and the times that are joyous and, um, and all of the pieces that make a life worth living in, this life and experience worth having. Um, there are decks that can really help you to do that in ways that go beyond just what's my past, present, future. And this is one of those decks that's really great for that. And I will be doing a whole review on this deck in the future. I've only been working with it for a few weeks, so I don't really know her character yet. Um, and I want to make sure I know that before I, before I choose to share my opinion of this deck. Um, another great deck for marking where you are on the wheel is the Book of Shadows Tarot um, as Above. I need to do a review on that deck. I've had it for quite some time now, and, and that is an amazing tarot deck, and it's really, really great for mapping out the wheel and for where you are on the wheel. And I meant to bring that down so I could show you the Maven Sabbath card, and I did forget to do that, and I don't want to go upstairs and grab it because Vincent's sleeping, and I don't want to wake him up. He's taking a nap. Um, so I will have to show that another time, probably when I do the review of that deck, which will be soon. Because it's a really great deck for also mapping out where you are on the wheel. Um, other amazing decks we're doing that with are The Fairies Oracle by Brian Froud and Jessica Macbeth. Um, and The Tarot of the Hidden Realm is another really, really amazing deck. I've just purchased that deck. Um, I'm, for mapping out where you are on the wheel is what I'm trying to say. But I've just pur purchased that deck. And um, I am having... <laughs> amazing experiences with it and I'm really excited to do a review 
in the near future on that for you guys. But that's another great deck that lends itself well to mapping out your wheel and where you are in your wheel. I mean, really, the Major Arcana is an amazing way to map out your wheel anyhow, so any tarot deck would be great for that. But especially the Book of Shadows tarot as above, the as above version, um, um, Tarot of the Hidden Realm. Another one that's really great is the Wildwood Tarot is another great way for you to map out the Wheel of the Year through your tarot deck. And um, I may actually do a video in the future showing you like how you can map out for ritual with cards your energetic space and where you are. And I, I just find something about the drawing of cards and the placement of cards in ritual and the choice of a card to represent yourself when you're pausing to reflect during Sabbaths and Espets is really, really just cool. I mean, I can't think of any other way to describe it. I'm just such a card geek, and I just love it so much. I mean, I, I wouldn't make videos, and I wouldn't do what I do if I didn't love cards as much as I do. And even though I'm experiencing a lot of psychic growth in my abilities lately, and I'm finding that I'm offering now sessions with people that ha that don't offer uh, card drawing at all, I will, oh, in some ways, always work with the cards th for the rest of my physical journey in this body because there's just something I find really healing and very strong with the cards. Um, it's a very active and visceral experience when you are drawing cards and um, using your intuition and your psychic gifts in 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 such a a deep way through divination. It's very powerful, whether you're reading for someone else or for yourself. So so yeah, this maven's been an interesting one for me, um, and I'm finding the need to set a really strong direction, boundary in the sand for myself. So I would love to hear how all of your mavens have been, who your Sabbaths have been, if you observe Sabbaths, and if you choose not to, just how your autumn is going, because it's a time of withdrawal and reflection for us all, a contemplation of the harvest that we've reaped this year. So thank you all for watching, um, and I will see you in the next video.